welcome back to my channel. Uh, I had a really fun time making my video a few days ago for you guys, and I decided to film another one today. I know I said the next video would be over wax interpretation, but it turned out that the candle I did the other day wasn't probably the best example to use, so that's probably gonna be the next video I do. Um, the video we're gonna do today is about working with your candle during your candle magic spells. Um, it's a process that I've been implementing the last like month or so with my candle magic and I've started to notice a real difference in the potency and power of my spells. So stay tuned guys and I'll show you exactly what I do. This is one of my love spell candles. It's already anointed, dressed with herbs, and sealed with wax. If you want me to make a video on how I created this candle, just leave me a comment. I've been experimenting with candle magic for a while now, and although I'm far from being an expert, I have picked up on a few tricks that I believe can make your spells more powerful. Smudging your space is always super important, but I think most people sage their candle, light it, and walk away. I'm not saying that powerful spells can't be done this way, but from my experience, a spell candle can be nurtured and intensified by giving it continuous attention throughout its burning. Working with my candles while they are burning charges and continues your intention throughout this whole process. You're asking the universe to help you with a situation, so you want to show your effort and confidence that your intention will come to fruition. So while my spell candles are burning, I check on them every so often to sage the space, reiterate my intentions, and build onto the spell while it is in process. For the specific candle in this video, which is a love spell candle, I want to make sure my candle is surrounded by beautiful and loving totems during its burning. I might place a few extra rose quartz crystals on my altar or tray, or if I feel like the spell needs to be charged with more loving energy, I use a dried rose to diffuse the smudging smoke. I continuously add rose and jasmine oils to the candle while it's burning. I might add a few extra candles if I feel the energy isn't strong enough, or cinnamon sticks to attract success if I feel like my spell needs that special extra boost. Typically for love spells, I like to stand over the flame and think about things my boyfriend does that make me happy, things that show me his love. I think about how he sometimes wakes me up by lightly kissing my shoulders, or how he always calls before coming home from work to make sure I don't need anything from the store. It doesn't have to be these big romantic gestures. It can be small things that make you remember how much your significant other cares about you. By combining this continuous candle work and layered intentions, you are feeding your spell so much more energy than if you had just let it burn out on its own. Any time you take adding onto your process is always going to show more results than not. Now, I won't pretend this is a cut and dry process. It's truly about what feels best and most natural to you specifically. This is your candle, it's your spell. You wanna make it personal to you and you don't wanna do anything that doesn't seem necessary. You really want to read your intentions when it comes to this kind of work. So you're going to start by being near your spell. Stare into the flame and ask the magic what it needs to be more successful. Let the answers come to you. I think of spells more of a dance or negotiation between spirit guides. So you can never really put too much energy into getting what you want. You should see yourself as the ever confident lawyer fighting your case until the end. This process has really intensified my spell work. I think it has helped me connect more with my true intentions, what I'm really wanting, whether something is really important to me or not. So I hope that this can help some of you and you might want to implement it into your process. I would love to know what you guys think. So leave me some comments and give me some feedback. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then you should do that too. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.